up in this edition will look at the increase in divorce cases plus music. I am Princess Gipsy, be my guest. Give it up for the woman. Women's issues can be wide-ranging and topical. It could be leadership aspirations, educational, empowerment. Divorce is the dark side of marriage that has its own negative effect. In some cases, it serves as an option for the belief of both parties to move on in life. The two main religions frown at divorce, except for extreme cases that due procedures could be followed. For the Catholic denomination, it's a no-no. Well, in 2022, birth and death report by the National Civil Registration Authority, NCRA, put divorce cases registered high at 67 percent out of 864 marriages. The people are divorced accounting for the highest 40 percent, followed by Islamic marriage at 2 percent. This shows a good number of marriages are not surviving. Well, the topic for this edition of Women's War is what we are going to discuss. And I have in the studio Alice Nene James, Chief Executive Officer of Chat with Nene Alice, a platform that gives voice to women. Good afternoon and welcome to Women's Good Day. afternoon and welcome. And thank you so it's much for having me. Yes. So can we start by knowing what is the voice? Uh, well, <laughs> divorce is when two people who are married decide to call the relationship off through legal means. They go to the court and ask the court to you know, provide the necessary advice as they go separate ways. So, what are some of the downsides of divorce? And what was the disadvantages? Actually, I've never been through one, but I have, you know, had chats or conversations with people who have been through divorce. I know it's a devastating time. I know it's it's full of lots of heartbreaks, and um, particularly so when children are involved. You know, it's it, it's has some traumatic effects on the children because now they have to be between mommy and daddy, and they don't. Sometimes they're in so much confusion, not knowing which, you know, of the partner, you know, to support. And it also has to do with poverty, particularly us living in a patriarchal setting where most of the time there is, you know, so much male dominance when it comes to do with properties that you and your, you know, or, or husband that we are happily married have worked so hard. And sometimes when it comes, you know, to sharing all of that, Sometimes you don't want to be in part, part of those processes, but but then you have to because you are also very much entitled to you know to whatever thing both of you have hand have hand, and um, sometimes even in our traditional homes, it might become so difficult because you might end up not having anything as a woman because they will say it's their, their son's property or it's their you know it's their child's property. And sometimes family members can just come to say all of the property belongs to the children, you know, and things like that. And to leave you as a woman with nothing. And so sometimes it can be so frustrating, you know, even after you have you know, decided to walk out of a miserable relationship or walk out of a relationship that you think, you know, it's not working out for you and you want your sanity, you want your peace of mind. So at the end of the day, instead of you, you know, just to have serenity of life, mm -hmm. all of these traumas or all of these frustrations tend to accompany that kind of a process. You've listened to the statistics recently issued by ENCRA, that is the National mm -hmm. Civil Registration of Poverty, that places divorce rate at 67%, and out of that, the Christian marriage accounts for the highest. Is that a concern for people like you that engage in giving? women voices? Uh, well, for me, if you ask me candidly, I will tell you, if I'm not so comfortable in, in a relationship, I don't have a, if I don't, you know, have a say as to how the relationship is moving forward, if um, I think I'm being bullied or if I think um, I'm being suppressed, if you ask me candidly, I will walk out of such relationship. And if that is the situation for most women who have been working out, then I think 
for that for I think it's about the right direction because then you're seeking your own peace and for me my peace is my first priority so seeking your own peace you know moving away and starting a fresh life sometimes can be the best decision in life. So what are extreme cases for you that will take us to the causes? What are extreme cases for you? Well, sometimes I want to look at um, the situation, the context, it varies, you know. In one situation you can say there is lots of interference into your marriage, so many people are having a go or a say in the things that you and your husband are agreeing on, that's one. Another one can be because of unfaithfulness, you know. I know you and I can't stand unfaithfulness for a second. Me, I'm, I can't stand it for a second. So if you are in a relationship and you're putting your best, you are trying you, to be on, on top of issues, you know, dedicated, and then you hear that your partner is, is so unfaithful, or sometimes you even see them, you know, in acts of unfaithfulness. It can be so devastating for you and you don't want to stay in those kind of situations. Well, I have had many conversations among women that you are left you, you, you partner because he cheats on you when men are wired that way. Well, I don't know if men are wired that way because I was not part of part of creation <laughs> where they were created. But if they are wired that way, I can also say women are also wired that way. But the thing is, if you have decided, you know, to have a relationship with a woman and you are under oath you've been you 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 go under oath to say i will be with this person till death was part i will stand by this person in times of crisis in terms of happiness in terms, you know all the things that we say when we you know we are better for better and for worse i think you need to stick to that you need to stick to that particularly if you are in a progressive um relationship in a relationship where you are working hard i am working hard we are having kids and which should be our focus in building the home and then you are out there not communicating to me correctly not telling me things that i want to hear not um you know when it comes to money you're so you know you have all the fishy things that you do when it comes to money you don't make your we don't we don't know about our our earnings you know sometimes it's so frustrating and the other one has to do with sex which most of us don't want to talk about mm -hmm. you know because um, satisfaction. satisfaction within sex is something, you know, that is the bottom line. If, if I want to have sex, I want to have sex. If I don't want to have sex, I think that I don't want to have sex at a given time. And if we think that the conversation on sex or us having sex is becoming a problem, something that we sit and talk, but sometimes it's a taboo. We don't want to talk about it. You see, so all of those things are, you know, those things are some of the ingredients that are leading to all the divorce cases and um, separations that you're hearing about. So, in traditional settings, most um, parents or family members will try to intervene. So, what's your thinking about that? Well, mostly I would say. For in, in Sierra Leone, we are for the kids. Yeah, in Sierra Leone, very much conversant with the Sierra Leone one, and you know, even before you go into marriage, they tell you the, the the two families are getting married. You 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 mm -hmm. bring the two families together, mm -hmm. and that's why in terms of some of those traditional rituals, you will see even in engagement, it is a family that comes with the information mm -hmm. and give everything before they will ask the man to come, you know, mm -hmm. just a sign to show that um, the family is involved. And for me, I see them as a support system because sometimes you get into a relationship, you don't know much about each other and some of them have had experiences, you know, that can be worthwhile in your in your marriage relationship. So for example, if you are having challenges in terms of communication and you have a nice uncle or a nice aunt that can say this is how communication has worked for me and you, you see it that it's you know it makes sense, you can work work on that. But the thing I don't like sometimes is um, when you come with a situation to say, me picking up for beer, if I tell you, me papa be don't, me papa be beat me, now for beer, now for waiting. Those are some of the things that I do. Come with real life experience, and then you will see what happens. Okay? So the statistics also places divorce cases for Christian marriage as the highest. Is it that the church or religion is not paying through? 
Well, I don't know about other religions. I'm very much conversant with the Christian religion. And I know, ideally, I don't know if that is what is what that works, that's the reality. I know that before you get married, you go through a period of counseling where they will use, you know, some passages within the Bible to to you know to encourage you or to talk to you about what you are about to enter into. And even in the church you have parents who are there who, who you know ideally they are living some kind of a serious Christian life and they can advise you. Okay? So from that perspective I would say they are doing their work. But sometimes you know this has to do with human beings, it has to do with human feelings and um, it has to do with us, you know, both of us who are in the relationship, understanding ourselves, trying to know what we're talking about, trying to, you know, what it is that we're looking forward to. You know, you have a focus, you have all of that. So even if the religion or the church, you know, do all of that, it's up to both of you to, you know, ensure that that relationship works. Okay? If you, if you are doing things that are harming the relationship, or I am doing things that is harming the relationship, then we'll end up in those situations. Interestingly, the, the, the civil marriage accounts for less. Is it that the men are afraid of the, 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 the civil uh, law? Actually, um, there is a myth to the civil marriage, which, is the, which we normally call the registry marriage. You know, I have seen people who they, you know, they were married in church and then they say, we'll go back to the registry. Mm -hmm. For cement? Yes, and they say, we we'll have for cement, <laughs> they marry, not so. But the thing is, the church marriage is as legal as the, um, as the, the civil marriage as well. But so the laws. it's the same, it's the same laws. It's the same acts that they're following. The only thing with the, with the Muslim marriage, because it's a polygamous type of arrangement, it makes, yes, for a second or a third or a fourth wife, as the case may be. But with the Christian marriage, it's one man, one wife. So if you married in a church, why you want for change? Um, why you want for going to register again for putani? And, and because we get this meeting for who is small, we they go now, we say we they married in a registry, and then we married in a registry, and then we say it's stronger than even the church married, or even, you know, the other forms of marriage. Okay, interesting conversation, mm -hmm. and in this edition, we are looking at divorce, but let's take a short music break, tied to divorce by Janta. Mm -hmm. Fatima Kamara, who spoke to Sobin around the abuse on divorce? The plenty, because a man, where don't they with woman, he prefer for let them divorce with the woman. 
he go to other women can put her now house. Now he make divorce plenty now. Person, woman, and the other, they can't deal with in company, man. If you not get money safe, it is a certain kind of way. For let go to Juju, for let go able the man, and the woman make them divorce. When I make now the divorce, same plenty. Now the one, most of them get the one, they wait, they say enough for divorce. We go do registry, we go to church. Some people, some man, and they like to go to church with woman. We go and divorce with them. They say, like they say, 50 million ready for divorce with them. Because we think you don't see other one. You think they're responsible then for the separation? The man. Because you, the woman, if you talk, say, you the divorce with the man, they pay a boku boku money. The man back where he get money, they say before that, let go divorce with the woman, they get a boku boku money. Yes? So you know they feel good, happy, so they come on at you. You they go fence side for let day day. So you they pour last, so you they die. Because what you make, you don't deal with your partner. They like it, they demand they tell you, say, make you divorce. So they left now, they also go rent to the other side. For let no more, let to take courage. Yes, them plenty. So why you think, say, them, them plenty? Mm -hmm. Well, where you go, where the man go tell you, say, he wants you for married. They don't marry, you now, don't come out goose. Then, you know you the man, you know dissatisfied with you. He not be satisfied with you. So he did suspect her. He did under, he did under, he did under. And so um, man the day, they get shot at. So um, man the day, they patient. So um, man the day, as he knows he, as he's supposed to, you ma, a man don't get other woman um, na the street. He had to boil totally and totally. So um, man the day, moon, what is suspect he? The man de, the man get other woman as treat. If they sit down at the husband bed, it is beer. So woman de money in the beer. Quick, they don't call for them. She breaks because of his heart. Quick, then they don't call for for lay. He die. His heart don't boil. So before if they can't get that boil the heart day, now quick, he don't say well okay, you know bad. Me a beer. No separate. They get picking up, they don't get picking up. But once you don't go aside, you don't go see, they don't get good at. And that make quick. The woman they don't part. Who they man they? But what thing can make them part too? If you for the for the OC maintain, so woman they if they himself he will maintain the house. So woman they, you know, past then can they get about any how they get on, it is beer. But this course here. This because the ungrateful they would demand them get now. So man then get them back. So man then get them back. This ungrateful. If you don't see me yesterday, I'm fine. After I don't come out to pick in there, I don't more run show. Now we go in the street now. Now wait till they look they look for the old cock. As you don't see him. Now Kai can so now so can left me. The sister said that if I can't get that chest pain day. Me say say said me as I see you that road day. Now me said be man over force. I was done a call. I left one thing for that no can get explained and it's got me safe. So then I dare go the bear back. Until you ask me come back. He come for me. If I see say yes, he comforts for me. Okay. If I not say he's not comfort for me, me and two separate. The woman that says that bring get that problem. The woman then back, then get that problem again. If they see the man fine. So then as the man no get it. Again. Oh. So bed door open. Now who side they Now sweet side. More with you man. With the woman then. Now sweet side don't let. So say no lack of so bed. But if you God make the um, the man go meet up to um, my own land for so bed. Any kind of condition where the man they was don't let him. He know the he know the part with him. He did day with him. Was he let him? He did day with him. You see. So let's not move. If in a one pandemic. Ye will be or the man ye will be a then go see the or the woman more now you forget patient. Many thanks to our own Fatima Kamara for getting the views of some women on divorce. I still have my studio guest Alice Meneges. You've had the the views of women on divorce. Various issues, issues of black science, death. Well, when I, there's something I had that um, somebody was saying that sometimes 
um, the men are at fault mm -hmm. when it comes to divorce. I want to say the women too can be at fault, just like the men. But, you know, as statistics have proven, particularly in this part of the world, most of the time, it is the men because, because of the kind of system, because of our male dominant system, and sometimes when it comes to marriage, because of the way we are socialized, most times they will tell us, hey, nah, you know, the woman, nah, for bad, and all of that. So you see, it's more on the women. But sometimes if you even talk to the men, but because society has said men don't cry, men don't complain, mm -hmm. and all of that, you don't even see it on them. But it affects both men and women, particularly, it's, it's, it's a gruesome experience. It's an experience that you will not want to, to, to have, you know. Somebody that you, you love to the highest degree, to, to the point at which you got married, and then at the end of the day, you want to divorce, divorce with that particular individual. It's something that you can't even imagine the feeling. You know, and I remember I was talking to a friend one of these days, and I told the friend that um, if at this point I want to cut off my marriage, I don't think I would, I would want to go through a period of divorce. I think I'll have to separate, go have a rethink and see if I will continue, or then just stay, stay like that. You know, it's a feeling that you will not want to, to experience. And um, the thing of black science or juju or all of that, if you are in a genuine relationship, a relationship that you loved yourself from the bottom of your heart, there were no competition, you know, when you get into that relationship, a lot of, and all of that, I don't think the issue of black science comes into play. But now, it's widely, everybody's talking about, about that, particularly when relationships are falling apart, everybody may say, hey, now that new woman, we don't get that, I don't need the juju, this married woman, or, and all of that. And sometimes, Sometimes we can be petty in our relationship, you know. Some some relationships that we are, you can see. Well, for example, let me say, if the the, the, the man has another extramarital affairs, the possibility for that man to be explaining the weakness of the wife to that girlfriend is also very great, you know. And even the woman, if the other woman is the one that's in the um, extramarital relationship, you can also, you know, sometimes. Because we cry, we mourn, and we, we tell this person that my husband is treating me this way, this way, this way. So, you know, the possibility for you to know the weakness of the married man or because of the married woman is also very great. And, and that is very common because if I am in a relationship that I feel so much frustrated and I have somebody who has offered me their shoulders, I think the possibility for me to, you know, just let go and explain is also very, very great. And so sometimes people just walk on those weaknesses and then we interpret it, you know, to be, to be, to be juju okay. or black side. But I don't want to say, I'm making a disclaimer. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to say that it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. People, some people have proved it. I have not, but it happens. It happens in some instances. Okay. Some of the text messages. Many thanks, SMBC, for this interesting conversation. Princess, some marriages don't have good foundation. Any marriage without a strong foundation is bound to be faulty. The stat women swore the statistics you highlighted clearly shows that people are afraid of the law rather than God. I think more time should be allocated to women's work for such interesting conversations. Yes, and uh, your reaction to some of the text messages. I think um, the first one, can you go over it? Okay, again? the faulty foundation. The faulty foundation. The thing is, you know, love is something that you nurture, you know. At first sight, I can see you and I like you, okay? I like you, that is where it begins. I like you, and later on I want to know you. And as you you get deeper and deeper, you know each other. You know our weaknesses. You know you know your weakness, and you know you know the strength. You know. And um, in some relationship, some people are able to manage it. In in others, they don't. They cannot. You know. They will need external forces to help them. And that is why sometimes we say religion can help. And some other time people can say the family can help. But sometimes because we want to get married, we tend to overlook some of those weaknesses. And these are the things that haunt us when we get into the marriage. You know, so for example, you realize that this person likes to shout. And you don't like shouting. 
But you don't play. But you don't play it because you know you want to get married. And then you get into the marina now and the person begins to shout and you all the time you complain about this person shouting. You before you got you, you got into the marriage, you know that this person does not like sharing his or her money with somebody else. You know that very well. But because you think you can manage it, you say, okay, let's glide through this. You get into the marriage and now there is a problem with finance. You know this person. It's difficult to communicate his or her feelings. They keep it to themselves. They keep it to themselves. How about you want to get married? You get into that. So when you get into the marriage, this, these are the things that keeps haunting you. They keep haunting you until you have a counselor. In other countries, there, there are counseling organizations that just provide counseling. You know, you go there, even during marriage, you, you cancel each other, you talk to each other. You know, they, they, they tell you, they give you choices, they give, they tell you this, they say try this or try that, or they encourage you to talk in other, in other countries. But say, we do not have, we rely on religious leaders, and even some of the religious leaders are going through their own crisis within their marriages. Some are compromising. So, well, I don't have evidence for that, but you have said that. You see, so even they, they, they can be very good evangelists, they can be very good preachers, but they are not counselors for marriage. So how do you want that person to counsel you? The only thing the person will say, let us pray. But even with prayers, you also have to work on your attitude. You also have to work on the things that will make the marriage work. Otherwise, it will crumble apart. So the issue of foundation, that is it. If you, if you, you think you can manage it in marriage and you need people to help you, you can. But for me, my marriage, I've been in marriage for 21 years now. And for me, marriage has worked for me. And there are so many things that I have faced in my marriage that I have tried to manage, maybe because of my level of exposure, or maybe because of the kind of people I associate with. You know, I have learned a lot, and, I have, and I'm using those skills to try to shape in and to work. Not to say that it is so challenging for me. I also have challenges, and I have reached the situations where I I, I really want to quit, but, you know, but because I think I can manage it and because of the support of some people, I have been able to, you know, to walk through it. So many thanks to my guest, Alice Nene James, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Chats with Nene. Alice, a platform that gives voice to women. That's it, Women's World is done for this edition. No doubt this edition has been interesting and educative. On behalf of all of us here as Broadcasting House Nina Bill, my producer Tusan Umneri, I have been your host, Princess Gipsy. That's your time. Goodbye. Women's issues can be wide ranging and topical. It could be leadership aspirations, educational, empowerment, their participation in governance, motherhood, their well-being.